Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. So today we are going to talk about what's coming up in our upcoming videos for canning. Um, I do have a lot of people here for my gardening videos, but I also do have people here for my canning tutorials. And I just wanted to talk about what we're going to be doing in the next few weeks so you know what to look forward to. So there are a lot of tutorials that I did last year. You can find those all in the video section. I did a whole bunch of different jams and pickles and condiments and stuff. And so this year we are looking at two different books here that I got for Christmas and I went through them and picked out what I want to try this year. So I will link both of these below. This one is the beginner's guide to canning and this one is your ball, your classic ball book. This one has a lot of the really good stuff that I'm looking for this year. So um let's kind of just quickly go through those so i am going to be doing a corn and pepper relish so last year you can find the zucchini and the cucumber relish so i thought this would be pretty cool to try the corn and pepper one it's definitely different i am going to be doing tomato paste so we usually do our stewed tomatoes we have done salsa i've um, done uh, pasta sauce this time I want to focus on doing tomato paste and that's not to say that we're not going to do tomatoes this year I'm definitely going to do some more tomatoes um, it's just I'm not going to do another tutorial because I already did one last year that you can find canning season is so close like we're mid May right now or we're third week of May so we're going to be going into it like super soon strawberries will be coming out in the next couple weeks so definitely excited and then the other thing we're going to try this year is this blueberry pancake syrup. I actually watched a tutorial on the Stivers Homestead did one, um, but I found the recipe for it in this book. So I'm super excited. Instead of like your traditional maple syrup, this is a blueberry pancake syrup. So just a couple things from that book. It's this book that has all the goodies in it that we're going to try this year. So the first thing we're going to try is I've done strawberry jam in the past and this year we are doing strawberry rhubarb jam. I am super excited for this one. I didn't start liking rhubarb until I was actually an adult. So this one I'm excited for. Sorry, it's hard to hold my camera sometimes and go through. I am right handed. I am going to try grape jelly this year. So last year we did a wine jelly that was like, it had a grape flavor because the wine was a Merlot um, and it was good, but I'm excited to just try a regular grape jelly this year. I think that'll be fun. And then I don't have a picture for this one, but we're just doing like a strawberry preserves. So every year I do apples. I do like an apple pie filling. This year I'm doing like a strawberry preserves. It's just strawberries and like a sugar syrup. And that'll be great for strawberry sundaes, strawberry pies, cakes, muffins, like all of that type of stuff. So I'm really excited to do the strawberry preserves. This is something called drunken peaches. So basically what this is, is it's peach preserves in a syrup and the syrup is made of um, sugar and vanilla and bourbon actually. So the bourbon gives a little bit of kick to the peaches. And of course, when you cook the peaches in things like your crisps and your cobblers and stuff, the alcohol should um, bake off. So it's not like you're gonna get drunk from eating these peaches, but um, Maybe if you ate them straight out of there, I don't actually, like straight out of the can, I'm not sure, but I'm really excited for these. I think that'll be a great flavor. Um, the other thing we're going to try this year is cherry pie filling. So like I said, I do apple um, and I'm gonna do um, the strawberry preserve this year, but I think I'm gonna do just a couple of quarts, nothing like extensive. We don't eat cherry pie a lot, but the cherry pie filling would be super good on top of cheesecakes as well. So I'm excited to try that. The next thing I'm going to try is ketchup. So last year we did mustard and relishes, as I said, and this year I wanna try some ketchup. So I hear that can be tricky. You have to really cook it down, so it might be a pain, but I'm still excited to try. The other condiment we're gonna try this year is a barbecue sauce. So I hear really good things about the barbecue sauce. So we go through barbecue sauce like crazy in the summer. Um, we use it on everything, hamburgers. We even put it on like our sausages and our hot dogs. Like no piece of meat goes on barbecue sauce in our house. Sometimes we even use it like as a dipping on the side. Does anybody else do that or is that just us? <laughs> Um, and then we're going to do a saucy sloppy joe starter. 
So I just want to be clear on this. Everything that I'm doing is water bath. Um, I'm going to get a pressure canner probably at the end of the season and I need to be taught how to use that before I go and do it. So um, a lot of the stuff is just going to be water bath. So just to be clear, there's not going to be any meat inside of the sloppy Joe starter. So basically what the, you know how you can buy like a can of Manwich? It's basically going to be that. It's going to be the um, tomato base with all of your seasonings and your peppers and your onions in it. And then what you would do is you would cook your meat on the stove and you're going to add the starter that you make to the meat and then mix it together. And that makes the sloppy joes. So I just wanted to be clear on that, that it's, there's not going to be any meat in that recipe. And then the second to last, we're going to do a bread and butter pickle. So last year we did dills. Um, well, we've done dills for a couple times and they always turn out delicious. And I really want to try my hand at the bread and butter pickles this year because I do like me some bread and butter pickles. And the last thing we're going to do this year are hot pepper rings. So I pretty much am the only one in the house that uses the hot pepper rings. Like, you know, the ones you buy at the grocery store to put on hamburgers and hot dogs and sausages and stuff. So mine aren't going to be this chunky. Mine are going to be very, very thin rings because they're going to be like a pickled peppered ring for um, a condiment. So yeah, those are all the super exciting things we're going to try this season. So follow me along for all of these things. And like I said, I will link this stuff in the um, bottom of this video. And if you want to go back and look at some of the other tutorials from last year, all the different jams and stuff, feel free. But yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing this stuff with you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.